Project 2025. Um, I've seen all over TikTok, all over Facebook and Instagram. You might not see it because on if you're a more conservative person, your feed on social media is going to be, you know, around you. The algorithm understands what you like. But on the average liberal's TikTok, it is just filled with the most like bone thin soy boy type vegan type dudes on there like trump's gonna be a dictator Tr project 2025 he's gonna ban abortion he's gonna he's d he's gonna become a dictator on day one and actually did you know he has this plan called project 2025 and like he's like a big evil nazi guy like that's what the average liberal is seeing every day Every single time they watch a YouTube video, it's Kamala Harris, it's Bernie Sanders, it's one of these establishment whores, these establishment prostitutes, on there going, Trump's a dictator, he hates gay people, he hates puppies, he hates abortion bans, he's going he's gonna to sign it into law, he already promised, he was, he was having a tea, tea party with Putin, and he said, for sure, I'm going to lie to everybody, but I'm actually going to ban abortion. If Trump came out and said he would ban abortion, his base would celebrate it, everybody would cheer it on, so there's no reason why he would hide that, but that's the narrative they're going with. So... The fact that she out the gate used that was so infuriating. It was such a difficult debate to watch for people who actually know and who actually follow politics because it was just a spitting in our face. It was a, I'm not even going to think of a clever lie. I'm going to I'm going to say nothing but easily falsifiable lies the entire night because I don't care that you know that I'm lying. It's this isn't about you. We don't give a crap. Yeah, vote for Trump. We're worried about people in Pennsylvania who have better things to do than follow along politics, who check their little CNN news feed or check their Associated Press. Oh, oh, okay. And that's it. And that's what they know. And that's what they take to the voting booth. Oh, it was painful to watch. It was so painful to watch because you just know, unfortunately, like it or not, that's the majority of the American people. Like it or not, the majority of the Americans don't know how to think critically, don't know how to sift through the garbage, and it's not really their fault. You shouldn't have to. There's better things, there's more important things to do in life than to become an expert in mass manipulation, public deception. I do this, I follow, I've been following Trump listening to every speech since he started in 2016 because I find it entertaining and it's something I like to do. It's not something I recommend other people do because it's like, there's better things to do in life. I just happen to be a person that enjoys this whole Trump, you know, era of politics. But it's just so it just breaks my heart knowing that like this works. This actually works to just lie blatantly. You know, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people like PJW to call it out, but that's going to only go so far. You know, that's going to bounce around in the conservative right wing, right leaning echo echo chamber, and the people on liberal TikTok are not going to not going to hear it. Trump's plan, and he's disavowed it several times. President Trump will give you a minute here to respond. Good. Number one, I have nothing to do, as you know, and as she knows better than anyone, I have nothing to do with Project 2025. A so-called abortion ban. If Donald Trump were to be re-elected, he will sign a national abortion ban. Wrong. Trump said repeatedly he won't sign a national abortion ban. Trump supported mobs of white supremacist neo-Nazis in Charlottesville and called them very fine people. Let's remember Charlottesville where there was a mob of people carrying tiki torches, spewing anti-Semitic hate. And what did the president then at the time say? There were fine people on each side. Wrong, even far left. That is, that is the amount of respect she has for the American people. And again, that's not even something, I mean, I can be mad at her for doing it because it's wrong to lie. But again, it works. That is actually how dumb to use that word or how uninformed the average american is that even their freaking far left snopes like literally just play the play the clip of him talking that uh, about that using those words he literally says i'm not talking about the neo-nazis the average person isn't going to be aware of that. It's so frustrating. Snopes admits it's a hoax. Trump made it clear at the time he was talking about people who were upset at statues being removed, not white supremacists who he specifically disavowed. And you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis 
and white nationalists, okay? Trump said there'd be a literal bloodbath in America if he lost the election. Donald Trump, the candidate, has said in this election there will be a bloodbath. Uh, Wrong. He was Again, the fact that she, she knows that that's a lie, obviously. I understand the average American voter doesn't understand that, but this is a politician. This is somebody who lives, eats, sleeps, and breathes politics. She knows full well what he was talking about when he said the cats and dogs, they're eating, they're eating the cats and dogs. She knew full well that Project 2025 is BS. She knew full well that the blood bloodbath and the good people lies were, were just that. They were lies. And that's what makes it so frustrating is you know exactly what you're doing. Oh, my gosh. It just it, it was hard to watch. There was a few points last night where I was ready to just toss in the towel. I'm like, I can't watch this. This is just so frustrating. Yeah, when he called her a Marxist and she was smiling from ear to ear. Notice how she did not respond to that. Didn't respond to that. Notice how she didn't respond to when he said, Biden hates, her, hates your guts, by the way. Just letting you know that, a little inside baseball. Biden hates you. 